there are some of you here. It's Valentine's Day. Hey. And then, you the moment you took that picture and clicked, you have lost your liberty. There's some of you that are here now. You have lost your liberty. When that picture will come out, it will shock you. One day to your wedding. Listen, I'm not joking. I had a case many years ago. What we have handled, I, how do people get entangled? Number one is by critical compromise. Somebody say compromise. Can I say contra compromise? By critical compromise. Everybody look up here. Don't compromise what can ruin you. Don't. Are you with me? Are you with me? No, no, no. There are some areas of your life you just say, this area, leave them for God. Leave them for me. Don't come here. The moment you make the first compromise, the next one becomes easy. You are not hearing me. The moment you make... Do you know why people like us don't drink? It's not because there's a Bible verse that says if you drink alcohol, you go to hell. That's why some people say you can take a little wine for your stomach's sake. Is there a Bible verse that so if you smoke, you are, uh, you are going to hell? They will say all of them. You know why we don't do that? Because the moment you take the first step, our people say the river doesn't carry somebody who didn't see his leg. When he sees your first leg, you prepare to be carried. Now small, 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 small. Now in the use eat elephant. Elephant look big, oh, but start small. One bite after another. Before you know it, the elephant has disappeared. And the man that ate it, you look at the man, you can't see where it ends. No. As you are now, you can finish elephant and you didn't change size. Come on. Are you still here, me? That's small, small. And that's how Satan finishes the destiny. Small, small. May you not go small, small. The second thing that puts people in terrible relationship uh, of, uh, 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 sorry, a uh, complicated relationship is careless overcommitment. You overcommitted. I say to you here, I've said it again and again, and I'm not going to bother much about that. I'm going to move on now. Many of you get into somebody greeted you and they say, uh, can we see? And say, I love you. And the first visit, you have opened your leg. You come to church. You sing. You clap. You dance. But that overcommitment has put your life in danger. You are not with me. If you have my voice, say yes. yes. Uh, are you here? Yes. One time a young man here wanted to get married. And then... The way it was going wasn't okay with me this many years ago now, many years ago. It wasn't okay with me. So I called them and I said to them, I said, no, 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 no. The way you're going about this relationship is not okay. I told one of our leaders, talk to him, counsel him, and I walked away. And after some time, he had some problem with the girl. And I sent for the girl. And I said, please... This kind of person that is treating you like this, you cannot go ahead and marry him. At least wait. Let us be sure he's born again. The girl said, no, she's continued. I said, okay. No, she said, no, she's going to pray about it. I said, okay. I left. And I sent him to go and do a medical test. He went and did the medical test. He came back, he was HIV positive. I sent for her. And I said, this young man is HIV positive. I don't want you to continue on this. He's not treating you well. He's HIV positive. Why are you still in the relationship? Nah, she was in a complicated relationship. She has overcommitted herself. I didn't even know by that time. She has been sleeping with him, not knowing he had, she had HIV. She has gone to do a test and found out she was also the HIV. So she just said, what's the hell? Let me go and marry him. Both of us, let's be HIV together. 
after that they left the church I didn't bother them I know when he died I've not heard of him since he died since he died I've not heard of her the reason is simply that that overcommitment opened the door to her not ability to make, to make decision come on are you with me be careful another thing that messes you up why people are in a tangled relationship is indiscreet openness they, they, they just open themselves up to everybody you are relating with somebody the relationship has not moved anywhere you have told him your whole life story everything about you everything about your family everything about your background everything about all your old relationship you have handed over to a criminal And then every time you want to do something, you just say, <coughs> You want to move? <coughs> As if I open my mouth, you'll finish. I don't think you're hearing me. If you're here, say yes. And some of you here. One time, a girl in, that was in our choir then, this is about uh, six or so years ago. Uh, they say somebody was blackmailing her. So they're asking her to pay some money. She has paid until she was tired. And she didn't have money again. And they were asking her, she can't afford. So I said, What happened? Uh, he said, uh, I don't know how they got my naked picture. So they were praying for her. And then. One of the pastors brought her to me, a lady pastor. I said, sit down. I said, sit down. I said, I don't need to be a prophet to tell you this. You took your naked picture where you were doing something stupid and posted it to somebody you trusted. And the person you trusted gave it to somebody that is blackmailing you. I said, this is not a prophecy. This is what happened. Who did you send the picture to? That's the person that gave it to this person. Nobody, nobody took your picture carelessly. Now you pose for the picture. Am I lying? He said, no, Papa. <laughs> she was stupid. There are some of you here. It's Valentine's Day. Hey. <laughs> and then, the moment you took that picture and clicked you have lost your liberty there's some of you that are here now you have lost your liberty when that picture will come out it will shock you one day to your wedding listen I'm not joking I had a case many years ago what we have handled I know this is going on what we have handled in church where I was before, and where in, in Gateway here, and all kinds of places people come for counseling. Many years ago, a girl came for counseling from another church. He said, Pastor, I can't talk to my pastor. My pastor is close to my, uh, my husband, and all of that. She had an indiscretion with a man. The man is holding all kinds of pictures. A week to her wedding, the man calls her. They've been separated for some time. Oh. I said, I'm going to send this picture to the man if you don't give me one last time. Guess who she's marrying? A pastor. Why did she come to me? Because she went to give him. He said, I can't tell my pastor in my church. I have to see you. Pastor, pray for me. I can't enter my head wedding defiled. But you are defiled. Why? The man was blackmailing her. And she didn't want her husband to know her history because she didn't tell him anything. A man she was running around with while still in church is holding her captive and tangled. I said, if you don't sleep with me one last time, I will send a picture to your fiance. And the fiance was a husband was a pastor and she betrayed the man again by going again to sleep with the man 
So they want to shut up. And then came, I want to pray for me and all that. What do I do? I said, go to tell your pastor. I said, I can't tell him my pastor is close to, that's their pastor of their church is close to the assistant pastor, marry her. When I tell you things are complicated, I'm telling you things are complicated. So all of the things you are holding up and down, thinking that you are smarter than us, one day you'll find out that we are telling you the truth. That it's not just Bible we are preaching, we are preaching sense. No, you are not hearing me. He said, no, I'm a big woman. Big woman for what? Big woman for what? You are not hearing me. The lady in South Africa that was uh, saying that he's a Nigerian governor that released a picture. Of course, he wasn't the governor, as much as I know. But somebody released her naked pictures. At her level, embarrassed her to the whole world. She thought he was the governor of one of the states in Nigeria. That released her naked picture. At your level, you are sending all of those things. You're hanging around church. You think you're smart? When we're talking, you think, what do I gain by telling you not to do that? Keep sending. It's your life. If you have my voice, say yes. You see, all of these things, people think they're smart. But one of the things I pray is that God doesn't allow your nakedness to show one day. Any day God allows your nakedness to show, you will find that the smartness is nonsense. The only reason you retain your dignity is that God covered you. Outside of that, you are finished. Outside of that, you are finished. You are not hearing me. <laughs> I told you the story. I know this is going online. People, whenever I talk like this, people get annoyed. But I'm talking to my family. Anybody can? Are you hearing me? No. One time I went to preach for a church. And after that, I found out they were having some problem later on. So I said, what happened? Why is every project was stored? Nothing is working and all of that. The pastor had this young girl running around, young lady running around him. And he thought that he was dealing with a human being. And before he knew it, one, there was an entanglement. He slept with her. And she had evidence. No, you're not hearing me. She had evidence. So she prepared for him. And then came around. And said, well, you see, uh, uh, I, 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 am, I, I want to repent. I want to go for confession. I feel like going to see so and so pastor and uh, for him to pray for me because uh, the way I am feeling, I think God is unhappy with us. The man said, begging her. And they started negotiating. She wasn't repenting nothing. She came for business deal. You are not hearing they began to negotiate until they ended up that every Sunday she will collect a particular percentage of offering and tithe. There are at least one or two persons here now that we are members of that church. It became a problem. The church wasn't doing well. Nothing was happening. All kinds of pressure was going on. This happened not one month, not one six months, not one year. Every time she was threatening, until one day this man got tired of every this girl collecting offering money. He called a meeting of his leaders and said, I am tired. I've been lying to you people. He said, Look at this girl here. And the girl is a committed member. <laughs> you know, there are people who are committed to commit you. You're not, you're not hearing me. Ah! The people fled up. He said, ah! He said, I'm tired. She's been taking her money. Now she has increased the amount she wants to take. I can't handle that again. They grabbed the girl. And the leaders told her, if we see you here again, we kill you. That's how she stopped coming to church. But by then, the man's image has been damaged. 
his entanglement. It looked easy walking into it, but to walk out, come out. No problem. You are not hearing. Not everybody says, I love you, I love you, I love you. Pastor, I love you. Hey, if is anybody hearing me? You better run, no? They know what they're looking for. Entangle. Somebody say entangle. You open your mouth, you share this, you share this, you share this, you share this. You tell everybody everything about you. There are people who are information gatherers. And when they gather, that you are relating with somebody doesn't mean you should know everything about you. Relationship is in levels. Come on, if you help me, say yes. It's in levels. Another thing that entangles people is dependence on an abuser. When somebody that's abusive is the one paying your fees and all that, the last one is demonic soul ties. If you have a demonic soul tie, it's an entanglement. How do you break out? Build their inner man with the word of God. Look for counseling from spiritual authority. Look for counsel from spiritual authority. Listen. Prioritize your future over your immediate pain. Have some people to support you emotionally. And walk away from that entanglement. 